If you feel like you're noticing more peanut allergies these days, you're actually not wrong. It's estimated the number of children with peanut allergies has tripled in the past two decades. Well, now the FDA is one major step closer to approving the first treatment for peanut allergies. And part of the research for this groundbreaking treatment was run right here at USF. 10 News reporter Madison Allworth caught up with those researchers to learn more about this breakthrough. I get red hives and, and, my th and I feel like not very good. We introduced you to Lincoln last year when he was just getting started with a peanut allergen study at USF. You ready for another one? Lincoln has gone from not being able to consume anything with peanuts to eating the equivalent of three peanuts all at once without any reaction. Groundbreaking for allergy treatment. Even 10 years ago, we would have uh, wondered whether we have this, this much of an advancement uh, that we have and we're seeing right now. So this is a major advancement, not ideal, not perfect, but a step in the right direction. A major step. An advisory committee has recommended palforzia, the drug Dr. Lockie and team at USF conducted research around, be approved for use. This could happen by the beginning of 2020, making it the first FDA approved drug for treating a food allergy. I see a huge relief from both my parents and my kids. Every one of them would tell me that they're so glad they did this. They're so grateful to have been a part of it. And their life is different now because they went through it. Lincoln was one of the 12 children in the study who were gradually introduced to peanut protein. If this drug is approved, the 1.6 million children who suffer from peanut allergies could have a path to treatment. Up to 200 people per year in the United States allegedly die from some sort of food allergy. Of those 200, more than 50% die from peanut allergy. With so many peanut free spaces in schools and offices like our newsroom right here at WTSP, this treatment can make a big difference not only for those who deal with peanut allergies, but also for those around them. And it could pave a path for other allergy treatments. They will parlay into other allergies for sure. In other words, some, some clinicians in the United States, I said already during oral immunotherapy, okay, it, it, and, and they're doing it not just with uh, peanut, but they're doing it with milk, they're doing it with egg, they're doing it with other foods. If the drug is approved, it still might not be accessible for everyone with a peanut allergy. This treatment requires multiple doctor visits over six months, and without insurance, it could cost thousands of dollars.